The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. First chapter, text number 20. Given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Recorded on July 17th, 1973, in London, England. Translation O King, at that time Arjuna, the son of Pandu, who was seated in his chariot, his flag marked with Hanuman, took up his bow and prepared to shoot his arrows, looking at the sons of Dhritarashtra. O King, Arjuna then spoke to Hrishikesha, Krishna, these words. Uh, again the word Rishikesha is used here. Uh, in the beginning also, Rishikesha Panchanandam. Krishna is again uh, designated as Rishikesha. As you have explained several times, Bhakti means Rishikena Rishikesha Sevanam Bhakti Vichat. Bhakti, the whole devotional service program, means Rishikena Rishikesha Sevanam. So, Arjun was meant for serving Krishna because he is Bhakta. Krishna has already addressed him, Bhaktoshi, Priyoshi. Rastam Nitam Uttamam, my dear Arjun, I am speaking to you the mystery of Bhagavad Gita, which is a mystery. Mystery means very complicated. No ordinary man can understand. Therefore it is called mystery, rahasyam. Uh, but not ordinary rahasyam, uttamam. Uttamam means transcendental. Not covered with darkness of material signs. But it is brilliant, daivam, divyam. Uh, rahasyam. So ordinary man cannot understand. Therefore they interpret foolishly, speculate, and demonstrate the rest of them. That's all. Uh, in big, big scholars, so they cannot understand because they are not devotee. It is meant for the devotee. Uh, this whole Bhagavad Gita is a transaction between God and His devotee. There is nothing more. Uh, just like if you go to the market and two mercantile men talk, it should be understood that he is also a businessman, he is also a businessman. So they must be talking something about business. It is natural conflict. Uh, it is not that two businessmen are talking seriously, not that they are discussing Bhagavad Gita. You cannot say that. They must be talking about business, something about profit. That's like all the businessmen, they assemble in exchange, like stock exchange. So, there is howling, great sound, uh, talking with each other. Tumultuous sound. Today, that tumultuous sound means one businessman is talking, what is your leg, this is my leg, what is your leg, this is, that's all. Uh, you cannot explain that the stock exchange, the people gather, they are talking something about Bhagavat and Bhagavad Gita. No. Similarly, when there is talk between the Supreme Lord, Krishna, and His devotee, so this whole talk is bhakti. It is nothing else. Uh, they derive uh, some meaning, jnana, 
ज्ञानात्मक व्याख्या दिस इज पैड ऑन दी अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ दी गैनी फिलोसॉफिकल स्पेक्युलेटर्स दे आर ऑल्सो कैंडिडेट दोज आर गैनी एक्चुअली दे आर ऑल्सो इंटरेस्टेड टू नो वॉट इज कृष्ण गैनी च भरत रुस जिज्ञासु आ तो अर्थात ही जिज्ञासु गैनी च भरत रुस दीज फोर क्लासेस आर मैन प्रोवाइडेड देर बैकग्राउंड इज पायस लाइफ इन पायस लाइफ कैन नॉट एनक्वायर अबाउट गॉड और कैन अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट जीसाम पापम जना पुण्यकर्मा ते दंदम निर्मुक्त भजंती माम पापी सीनफुल मैन दे कैन नॉट अंडरस्टैंड दे अंडरस्टैंड ओनली थिंग द कृष्ण इज भगवान साया वाज भगवान ही इज ऑर्डिनरी मैन मे बी लिटिल पावरफुल हिस्टोरिकली वेरी famous man so he is after a man so i am also man so why not i am god this is the conclusion of the abhaktas non devotees and sinful men uh, so anyone who is declaring himself god he is yet he should know he is the greatest sinful man and if you study his private life you will see That is his number one sinful man. This is the test. Otherwise, nobody will say that I am God. This false representation. Nobody, any pious man, will not do. He you know, you know what I am. I am ordinary human being. How can I claim to take the position of God? And uh, they become famous among rascals. Hmm? As it is stated in the Simad Bhagavat, "Sabai ushta kharos." What is that verse? Ushta kharai samastu ta purusha pasu. In this world, we see there are many great men. so called great men and they are very much uh, praised by the general people so bhagavat says that anyone who is not a devotee who never chants the hari krishna mantra he may be very great man in the estimation of rascals that he is nothing but he is an an angel and so sabir baraha ushro khoroi so how you can say such a great man you are saying that any more our business is very thankless task we uh, say any man who is not a devotee he is less We say generally, uh, it is very harsh word, but we have to use it. Uh, as soon as we see that he is not a devotee of Krishna, then he is a rascal. Uh, how do we say he is not my enemy? But we have to say because it is stated by Krishna. If you are really Krishna conscious. Then our business is to repeat the words of Krishna. That's all. What is the difference between a Krishna's representative and non-representative? The representative of Krishna will simply repeat what Krishna says. That's all. He becomes it. It doesn't require much qualification. You simply repeat with firm conviction. एट कृष्ण से सर्वधर्मान परित्यज्य मामे कम सर्वधर्म मिलो सो वन हु हैज एक्सेप्टेड दिस फैक्ट दैट इफ आई सरेंडर टू कृष्णा माई ऑल बिजनेस इज 
successful. He is Krishna Vishnu. That's all. You don't require to be very highly educated or advanced. Simply, if you simply accept that what Krishna says, just like what Jun says, Sarvam Vitam Vitam Vanne, Jadavadasi Kesha. My dear Krishna, Keshava, whatever you are saying, I accept it. Without any change. Uh, that is bhakta. Therefore, Arjuna is uh, addressed. Bhakta, this is the bhakta's business. Why should I uh, uh, think of Krishna as like me, ordinary man? This is the difference between a bhakta and not bhakta. Uh, a bhakta knows that I am insignificant, a small a spark of Krishna. Krishna is individual person. I am also individual person. But when we consider about his power and my power, I am most insignificant. This is understanding of Krishna. There is no difficulty. Simply one must be sincere, not sinful. But a sinful man cannot understand. Uh, the sinful man, he will say, Oh, Krishna is also man, I am also man. Why I am not God? He is simply God. No, I am also. I am God. You are God, you are very God. Uh, just like uh, Vivekananda said, uh, Why you are searching after God? Don't you see so many gods are loitering in the street? You see, this is his God reality. Uh, this is his God reality. And he became a big man. Oh, he is seeing everyone God. This foolishness, this rascal dumb is going on all over the world. One does not know what is God, what is power of God, what is meant by God. They are accepting some rascal as God. As he, nowadays there is going on. Another rascal has come. He is also declaring himself God. So it has become a very cheap thing. Eh? But they have no brain to think that I am claiming God. What power I have got? Eh? Ah, so this is the mystery. This is the mystery. Ah, without becoming devotee, the mystery of understanding God is not possible. And Krishna has said in the Bhagavad Gita, how one can know it? Vakyamavijanati Javana Dashtami Only by devotion. Simply. He could have said by high topmost knowledge, or by jury process, or by acting, becoming a very great karmi, vartha, one can understand me. No, he has never said. Never said. So the Kormis, Gyanis, Yogis, they are all rascals. They cannot understand Krishna. All rascals. Kormi is the third class rascal, the Gyanis are second class rascal, and the Yogi is the first class rascal. That's all. You should understand. The so called Yogis, they are first class rascal because they do not understand Krishna. The Gyanis, they are also a second class lesson. And even a big scholar like Dr. Radha Krishna, he is, uh, how, I mean, the deformed, the meaning of Bhagavad Gita. Krishna says, Manmana Bhagavad Bhakta Madhyaji Mahagana Vaskuru. Uh, he always thinks this is Krishna consciousness. Manmana. Always think of Krishna. Uh, me, about me, Krishna said. And they will make meaning that uh, you can say also. Krishna said that you always think of him, you can say also, think of me. This meaning, they are distorting. So, Krishna says, Manmana bhavamad bhakta madhyari mangramasthu. And this Dr. Arakrishna said, it is not to be Krishna person. That's it. There's a big scholar, uh, doctor of philosophy, 
He cannot understand Krishna. Krishna says directly, Manmana Bhagavad Bhakta. He is interpreting the divine. Therefore, this word is used here, Vishikesha. Vishikesham vidam bhakkam. Vishikesham tada bhakkam vidam aha mahipate. Mahipate, O king, Sanjaya was addressing Dhritarashtra. The king, the Mahipate, Rishikesam, uh, Kopidhaja, Kopidhaja is nominated. Uh, so, he said, Kopidhaja, Kopidhaja also significant. Kopidhaja, our drone, on his stage, just like nowadays also, every, every nation has different types of flags. So, Arjuna also has his flag. On the dhaja, dhaja means the flag. The flag was on the top of his chariot. And it was marked with Hanuma, Bajjangaj. Bajjangaj, Hanuma, who fought for Lord Ramchand. He is fighting for Krishna. So he is also following the footsteps of Bajjangali. Vaishnavism is like that. Uh, Mahajana Dena Gatasya Pantha. Mahajana Dena Gatasya Pantha. Vaishnav should follow his previous Mahajan authority. That is Vaishnavism. Uh, we don't manufacture ideas. We don't come in such a scale. We simply accept the behavior or the activities of previous asas. There is no difficult. There is no difficult. So, in the fighting principle, Arjuna is fighting for Krishna. He is following the previous fighting asas. Therefore, he has depicted his flag with Hanuma. Uh, the Hanumanji, Bhajangaji, kindly help me. Uh, this is Vaishnavi. Uh, I have come here to fight for Lord Krishna. You fought also for the Lord. Kindly help me. This is the idea. Kapit Bhaja. So, uh, any activities of the Vaishnava. They should always pray to the previous asas. Kindly help me. Kindly, this is, Vaishnava is always thinking himself helpless. Helpless. And begging help from the previous asas. Just like in Chaitanya Chaitamit will find the author at the end of every chapter. Sri Rupa Raghunatha Parejare asked Chaitanya Chaitamrita Kahe Krishna. In every line he is thinking of Rupa Raghunatha, previous asas. So let me surrender to the Goswami and they will help me how to write. You cannot write. That is not possible. So this is Vaishnava's policy. Vaishnava Thakur, Kumara Kukur Baliya Janaha Mool, Bhaktivinoda Thakur has sung. My dear Vaishnava Thakur, you just accept me as a dog, as a dog watch by the indication of the Master. He will give his life. Dog has a good qualification. However, a strong dog may be. When the master orders, he will give his life. This is dog. Faithful, so faithful to the master. So, Vaishnava Thakur, so Bhaktivinoda Thakur is praying, Vaishnava Thakur, Tomara Kukur Boliya Janaha Mod. My dear Vaishnava Thakur, Vaishnava Thakur means Guru, kindly accept me as your dog. 
and he describes, I forget the exact language, that I will always try to protect you. As dog, keep watch. So I will watch. So nobody can come to disturb you. And whatever little prasadam you give me, I will be satisfied. That is the dog's qualification. Uh, the master is eating, uh, but the dog will never come. Unless the master gives little morsel, he is satisfied. He is satisfied. So this is Vaishnavism. To follow the previous asa. Uh, this is Vaishnavism. Uh, Mahayana Dinagata Sapantha Dharmasta Tattang Nihitam Guhaya Mahayana Dinagata Tattva Pratishtha Sutayu Vivinya Tattva, if you are a very great logician, you can argue. Why Krishna can be God? I can be God. By logic, you may defeat an ignorant devotee. But, Sattva says, by becoming a big logician, he cannot understand transcendental knowledge. Transcendental knowledge you have to understand by submitting. Punipatena, tadvidhi punipatena. Why is that surrender? Tadvidhi. If you want to know this transcendental science, then you must fully surrender. This is first quality. Tadvidhi punipatena. Puriprasnena shivaya. Three things. Uh, first surrender, then if you cannot understand, then you question. Otherwise you have no right to question from a Not that, uh, can you show me God? What, what are qualifications you have got? You want to see God? Huh? And other rascal will say, yes, I will show you God. Come to me, I shall show you God. This is that. Uh, one rascal is inquired, can you show me God? And the big rascal says, yes, come to me alone, I shall show you God. This business is great. Uh, uh, God seeing is so cheap thing that any rascal comes, can you show me God? And another rascal says, yes, come to me in the evening, I shall show you. Uh, that means if he is a foolish rascal, then he will show him something magic. And he will understand, ah, I see God. That's all. Finished. God saying business is finished. And as and he comes after God saying, he is the same. And the same rascal. What improvement you have, you have seen God. What improvement you have met? God saying is so living, so cheap thing. No. So we should be very careful. If we actually are interested in understanding uh, manusanam, it is not so easy, the Bhagavad Gita is fine. Manusanam sahasreshu, kaschit jatati siddhai. Out of many millions of persons, uh, kaschit jatati siddhai, one person becomes interested how to make his life successful. Because they do not know what is successful life. They simply know how to work like hogs and dogs. Day and night working. And what is the goal of life? The sense gratification. Just like the hogs. Hogs will find day and night finding out where is tool. And uh, you will eat. And as soon as the hogs become very fatty because they eat actually very substantial. The stool is chemically very substantial food. It contains hydrophosphites. The doctor said, I do not know whether they have tested. <laughs> <laughs> but they test it, actually. When they test in laboratories, they test. I know that. They test it. They have to test it. Because their laboratory chemical examination means the symptoms has to be written. Uh, the characteristics, uh, just like potassium cyanide, they have not tested. Because as soon as you test, it will die. 
So chemical analysis means one has to test to find out the characteristics. So this uh, I've seen when uh, one doctor friend you are keeping one uh, decently stool in a plate. So in his table I saw what is this doctor? He saw it is to be tested, it is decently stool. So they test it. They have to they take fees. Uh, uh, everyone medical man knows. So this Hawk business is to eat uh, stool and as soon as he gets fatty, then sex. And that sex has no discrimination. Oh, you will see uh, hogs. He does not care whether mother, sister, or any god, daughter, it doesn't matter. So this is hog civilization. Uh, simply eating and getting uh, strength of the senses and blood. This human life is not meant for that purpose. Therefore it is said that a person without God consciousness, Krishna consciousness, he is no better than these dogs and hogs. That's all. This is our conclusion. This is, we don't give any formal respect. Of course we have to give because we are in this world. But at heart we cannot give respect to a person who has not any sense of Krishna consciousness. We cannot give. Because who is going to give any respect to the dogs and hogs? Savire Maraha Ustra Kharai Samastuta Purusha Pasu. Therefore Jiva Goswami has commented on this verse. If somebody says that this Mr. Satan Sash this doctor such and such, he is respected by so many people, and you are saying that he is a rascal. What is this? Huh? Oh. So Jiva Goswami says that this man who is respected by he is respected by whom? He is respected by this class of man: dogs, hogs, camel, and asses. So he is a big uh, poshu, just like the lion. Lion is respected by, in the forest, by dogs, hogs, camel, and asses, and other animals. Uh, because lion is the king of the animals. But does it mean, because he is designated as the king of animals, it has got any use? Has it got any use for any purpose? Similarly, these political uh, leaders, uh, they may be lion, but who respects them? They these dogs, hogs, cannons, and asses. That's all. He may be a big animal, but he is animal. No better than a big animal, that's all. And other animals, praises. Uh, dogs, hogs, cannons. Every word in this Srimad Bhagavata we have to we have describe. Why uh, especially these animals have been selected? Dogs, hogs, camels, and asses. Thank you.